Hi, welcome to our wonderful and new game called Fat Man and Skinny Man, produced by Thor Midgordon, who is shown right now. And meet your narrator, Gabe Palmer. To play this game, you will need a few materials. You will have included in the game two base cards, which are shown. You will have two decks of 40 cards. One will be the skinny men cards and the other will be the fat men cards and you also need one d6 die which will be included it's also advisable to get a pen slash pencil and paper to keep score while you play the game this game is a co-op game consisting of two teams of two in which a total of four players to start Pick your teams. On each team, one player will play as the Skinny Man player and will draw from the Skinny Man deck, and the other player will draw from the Fat Man deck. For testing purposes, it is just me and Thor playing, so each hand will be one player. My left hand will be the Fat Man deck, and my right hand will be the Skinny Man deck, and it'll be opposite for Thor over there. <clears throat> to start, the teams have been picked, and to figure out which team goes first, both of the team members roll a die, but for testing purposes, it would just me. I rolled a six, so I get to go first, since Thor's team rolled a two. The anguish. The sadness. <laughs> now that we know which team rolled the highest, they will be going first after each round to draw the decks, and they will start out by drawing the decks. So, my skinny man player will draw their deck. Their hand. Hand, true. Fuck, this is so tedious with one hand. And my fat man hand will draw a hand. Haha, get it? Because it's a hand playing. Oh. And now that the starting team has drawn their hands, the opposing team will draw their hands. After each round, when cards have been played, my team will draw first, since I got the highest score at the beginning. All right. Round one! Tell me you're ready. Fight! All right. <clears throat> now keep in mind, this is just for testing purposes, but your team will always keep their hand hidden from the opposing team, but not from each other, since you will be working with your teammate to figure out which hand will be the best to play. See, Team Thor knows what's up. Once you and your teammate have decided which cards would be best and most advantageous to play, you must find out if the other team is ready. Cards will be laid down at the same time. Team Thor, are you ready? Yes. I am ready. Play your cards. Now, now that the cards have been laid down, you must compare your attack and defense stats on the card. Each card has a standard layout. The attack is displayed in the bottom left, and the defense is displayed in the bottom right. Skinny men have a higher attack, and fat men generally have a higher defense. The scores have been compared, and my team has an attack of 23 and a defense of 24, while Thor's team has an attack of 14 and a defense of 16. So, now that the scores have been compared, we find that my attack breaks through Thor's defense, but his attack does not break through my defense. So, he does not do any... Oh, shit. So, Thor does not do any damage to my base, but I do a total of... A whole six points of damage to his base. Okay. Now, base cards are purely for aesthetic purposes, but they also remind you that each base has a health of 40 points. <clears throat> After damage has been dealt, you will discard each of the type of cards to their respective decks. 
And since my team rolled higher scores in the beginning, I will draw new cards from the decks first. And now you will confer with your teammate again. Now for this turn, my fat man player, which is also my left hand, had a very special card called the special card. Which this does is, as it says, effectively waste your opponent's turn. When you have this card, you can confer with your teammate if you want to play it or not, as it will take up both of your turns, meaning it'll be the only card played. An example. Team Thor, are you ready? Yes! Alright, I'm ready. Smack that card button. Ah, oh, shit! Despite what Thor's team had in terms of attack and defense, because I put down the special card, they will do no attack to me, and I will do no damage to them as well. Cards will be discarded. Since this is a Fat Man card, it goes into the Fat Man deck, and only the Fat Man player will draw. Alright, for this turn, we are introducing two new things. Are you ready? My team is going to play the inverse of each other's stats. One of these has an attack of 12 and a defense of 2, and the other has an attack of 2 and a defense of 12. That adds up to 14 each, but because they are the inverse of each other, it gets a plus 5, plus 5 bonus. That's 19, 19. And I also played what we call the Genetic Mutation card, which, since Skinny Man cards have a higher attack, the attack stat will be a base of 5 modified by a dice roll number. So, I will roll the die. Oh, man. And I got a 5, so that's 5 times 5 equals 25, so that card's base attack will be 25. And combined with my other card's attack of... Three, it's 28. Now these spe or these genetic mutation cards generally do not have the weaker stat at all. So this one has no defense. But old Tim here has a defense of 14. So my total is 28 attack and 14 defense. Now, what are your attack and defense stats, Thor? 19 and 19. Nice. So, because I had a high attack, it can still break through for a total of nine points. No! While he breaks through mine for five points. So my score is now 35, while Thor's score is 25. Now for this turn, we will be introducing yet another card. Team Thor, are you ready? Yes. All right, play your cards. Now. The card I've introduced is one of two, the other one is similar, but this one is specific to Skinny Man. It is called the Slim Switcher. What this card does is it has a base for its specialty, but what it does is, as you can see, you will pick a random card out of your opponent's hand, and you will take it, but you must exchange it with one of your hand. So this only takes place after the cards have been placed into the discard deck and you pick out your cards out of the new decks. You draw your card. After you draw a card? Shut up. You're bad at this. I know. All right, so. I have a total of 17. Now, this card has a base of 10, but I also lay down yet another genetic mutation for, and this one is a fat man, so this one modifies defense. I roll the die. 25 I roll defense. 5 again. So I have a base defense of 25, as the Slim Switcher has no base defense. And my only attack is 10. Thor, what is your score? 17 and 17. Okay. So Thor does not break through my defense, but I break through. You don't break through. I don't break through his defense either. Ho 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 ho. Now. When the Slim Switcher goes into effect is now into effect. Oh, now the Slim Switcher goes into effect after you have discarded cards and you draw the new cards and your opponent draws their new cards. Now, 
Now, the slim switcher is done as such. Since this was for the Skinny Man deck, I will be drawing at random from Thor's team's Skinny Man deck. So I will choose... this one. And I will switch one of my generic Skinny Man cards. And then you continue on with the game. Team Thor, are you ready? Yes. I'm ready as well. Now, in this turn, the alternate to the Slim Switcher for the Fat Man deck is the Weight Switcher. This one is about the same as the Slim Switcher, but instead of picking at random, your opponent will reveal their hand and you get to pick the card specifically. So since me and Thor both have the same scores for some reason, we both do one damage to each other. So I have 34 health while you have... 24. Now, the cards are discarded and the weight switcher and the slim switcher go into effect. Go ahead and draw your cards. Okay. I draw my cards. And Thor's team draws their cards. Now, Thor, since that is the Fat Man deck, Thor's Fat Man hand slash player will show me their Fat Man deck. Hmm, which one looks very nice? There's a genetic mutation in here. I'm going to snatch that right out. And I see a relatively low generic card, and I will give it to them. But now my Slim Switcher activates, and I get to choose a random card out of your skinny man hand. Do you wanna? It is perfectly acceptable to shuffle up your hand. Oh, sweet! Lucky. Lucky. I'm gonna give him this. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him this dude! Oh. For this turn, we will introduce the next and final card. Thor's team, are you ready? Yes. Now. What this is this? is the skinny dump. Both dumps are the same. There is a fat dump in the Fat Man deck. When I play this card, I immediately discard the three remaining cards in my hand and draw four whole new cards. This can take place during or after each round. I have a total of eight attack and 16 defense. And I have a total of 12 attack and 20 defense. So I do not break through and, I don't either. and you do not break through either. After several rounds, one team might be close to being dead. So, Team Thor, are you ready? Yes. All right, go. Two genetic mutations. Ooh, he might be able to take down my score of 20. Or my health of 20. Ooh, he might be able to take down my health of 20. I need high defense. My health points are only at 8. No! Uh-oh. So that leaves Thor's defense at five. five. So if we look, we see that I have an attack of 18 and a defense of 19. My 18 breaks through for a total of 13 points of damage. No! Which means Thor's base has been destroyed. That is one way to win the game, by completely destroying your enemy's base. The other and more rare way to win is if somehow the game drags out to where both of the draw decks are emptied, then the player who has the highest base health wins. Thank you for playing Fat Man and Skinny Man with me, Gabe Palmer, and my creative partner, Thor Midgordon.
Welcome to Splash Mountain, baby. 